The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite Christmas cookie recipes and they are all gluten-free and they all have a vegan option as well too. To make them vegan all you have to do is use your choice of vegan butter and that's it. And this video is super special because it is a collab. I teamed up with a bunch of ladies here on YouTube and they are all going to be sharing with you their favorite Christmas cookie recipes as well too. So if you guys are in need of any ideas to make for cookies this year we have got you guys covered. I'm going to link the video playlist down below in my description box, so make sure you go and check out the video playlist down below. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, for the first recipe, you are going to need two and one-fourth cups of flour, one half cup of powdered sugar, one cup of softened butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one-fourth teaspoon of salt, and three-fourth cup of chopped pecans. The first step is you wanna roughly chop your pecans or you can put them in a food processor if you like them a little bit more fine. I like to take an actual bite of mine so I just chop mine up with a knife, um, but you can do either or. Next up, you wanna take your softened butter along with your powdered sugar and your vanilla extract and you wanna cream those all together. Once the butter is all creamed together, you want to go ahead and add your salt and your flour to the mixture. In the very end, you want to go ahead and add your chopped pecans to the mix and let it mix up just a little bit. Or you can do this step by hand, but I just like to let my food processor do all my work. Okay, so I just took a tablespoon worth of dough here and rolled it into a ball. And you wanna go ahead and just put that on a parchment lined baking pan.
Once you're done rolling all your dough, these are gonna go in the freezer for five minutes. And after the five minutes is up, you wanna just go ahead and bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once the cookies come out of the oven, I would let them sit for about three minutes just to cool down a little bit, but you wanna go ahead and roll them in the powdered sugar while they're still hot. So roll all your cookies about after three minutes in powdered sugar, let them cool completely, and then you're gonna roll them a second time in the powdered sugar, and then they're all done. Okay, for the thumbprint cookies, you are gonna need one cup of almond flour, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of softened butter, and you're just gonna mix all of that together. Now this recipe ended up only making 12 cookies, so if you need more than that, I would double up the recipe, which is what I will do next time. Okay, and I just used a tablespoon worth of dough and rolled that up into a ball and put it on a parchment lined baking pan. Step, I just took a 1 4th teaspoon um, measuring cup and I just imprinted it in the cookies. You can also do this with your thumb as well too, but I just did it with the 1 4th um, teaspoon because later we are going to be filling it with jam with 1 4th teaspoon. So it's the perfect amount if you do it this way. Up, you just want to add one fourth teaspoon of your jam of choice. I'm just using a store bought one raspberry jam from Trader Joe's and it works perfectly. You can make your own or you can just use a store bought one like I did. going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put on Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Here's 
here's how the cookies turned out, you guys. They were both really good. My son liked the snowball cookies the best, and those are my favorite too. So I'm so happy that I found a gluten-free um, vegan cookie that he can have as well too, and he can enjoy them like I did growing up. So that's it, you guys. Um, make sure you go check out the playlist down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Another year went by